Hey guys, in this video we are going to be looking at while loops. Now the structure of the while loop is actually really similar to the if statement, which is if uh, we have a condition, we are going to execute a code. So we have a condition and the code. Now the structure of the while loop is actually like this. However, while loop is completely different to the if uh, while loop is completely different to the if statement and is actually really similar or technically the same thing. Uh, although the structure is different to the for loop. Now let's look at the while loop. Now we are going to write a condition. So just like our previous video, we want to output from number one to ten. So let's say uh, i is less than 11 okay while i is less than 11 document dot write uh, and number uh, space give it space plus uh, i plus and a line break now uh, just like the for loop, we have we need three statements. One is we are going to declare a variable, in this case i, and we need to give it a value. The next thing is we need to give it a condition, which we wrote over here. And the third thing is that increment or decrement thing, which uh, is going to make sure that our loop is not infinite and is going to stop somewhere. Now normally in a while loop we are going to define a variable outside the while loop. So let's say var i equals uh, 1. Okay. And also we need that third statement. Now we write our third statement underneath our code that is going to be executed. So we write i++. Now let's save our work and refresh. There we go. Number 1 to 10. Now, while loops, this is pretty much all about while loops. It's really simple. We write a variable, we give a variable, in this case i equals 1, and we write while, and inside our brackets we have a condition, and inside the curly brackets we give it the code to be executed, as well as this uh, increment thing, so that the loop doesn't go infinitely. Now, let's write this. Uh, same thing using for loop now for uh, and there we go let's write document dot write uh, number I should have copy pasted I actually let's give it let's say x plus uh, br there we go and inside this uh, brackets we are going to give three three, uh, three statements var x equals one let's say yeah let's say one uh, x is less than 11 so that it's the same as the condition over there I could give it a space here I don't have to it's the same thing it's just a matter of uh, preference depending on how you like your code to be and we are going to write i plus plus document dot write blah 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 and let's give it some space no we don't have to it's fine and let's refresh um that is taking time oh i made a mistake that's why because I wrote I++ plus plus, not X++ plus plus. That, that's why it's screwing up the code there we go we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 for the while loop and we have the exact same thing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 for our for loop so this is pretty much the difference between the while loop and the for loop if you want it's basically if you want to state a variable or define a variable outside the loop for some some reason when you are coding I suggest you use a while loop and if that doesn't matter to you then you can use a for loop because I think the for loop has less uh, lines it's only while loop has four 
for loop has three when I write it my way, so I prefer to use the for loop when I want to just put all the statements into one place and I don't need to define the variable outside. So that was a quick video on while loops and the difference between while loops and for loops. In my next video, we are going to look at another loop called do while loop, which is about 99% the same as the while loop, but there's some, it's, there's a small twist in it, which outputs a different thing. So thanks for watching and I'll see you later.